It's a wonderful day in the neighborhood. It's a wonderful day in the house. It's a wonderful day and you feel good. It's a wonderful day, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. No doubt, no doubt, no doubt. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this edition of Storytime with Mr. Fuwa, August Moon. Hi! I'm August Moon, Mr. Fuwa, and I'm here to help you navigate with a story that deals with triumph over mayhem and mischief. Today, we're dealing with a topic that really comes forth in the spring and the summer. Bully, it comes forth in the spring and the summer because camps start, camps are starting, people are going to start going outside to the playground more, and interactions between kids happen. And guess what happens? Bullying and harassment happens in these spaces. I have received several inquiries from many of you about the difference between, concerning the difference between bullying and harassment. And today we're going to demonstrate the difference between the two. There's a subtle differences between bullying, is your child being bullied, or is your child being harassed? And there's definite distinctions, subtle distinctions, but very specific distinctions between two. And we're going to use a story, pretty much, or, or uh, role play with characters to show the definite differences. And bullying, <laughs> pretty much, is when someone aggressively uses their power to control or to deal with someone in a negative way with actions or words. And harassment is roughly the same thing, and the victim or the target is feels powerless to do anything about it. In other words, they feel that they just cannot get out of the bullies or harassment situation. So, come on in, let's talk. Our story begins with Sammy the Sheep, who's just grazing outside on a nice grassy lawn. I'm grazing, I like grass. I'm grazing in the sun, and I like grass, yeah. I'm grazing and I like grass, minding my business, not bothering nobody, yeah. When along comes a nice scruffy dog named Scruffy. <laughs> I want to take something from somebody. I want to take something from somebody. Now, as we talked about in the beginning of this video, we're going to tell, talk about the distinctions between bullying and between harassment. First scenario, Sammy is still eating grass and he comes across a bullying situation. I'm eating my grass, I'm eating my grass. Hey, when along comes Scruffy. Hey, what are you doing? Well, I'm eating grass. I'm enjoying myself eating grass. You can't eat grass here, says Scruffy. You can't eat grass here. Why not? Asks Sammy. Well, because you're fat. You're too fat to eat grass here. You're just fat. You're a fat sheep. I can't stand fat sheep. Now, <laughs> you notice that the bullying and the harassment and the name calling is based on physical attributes of Sammy, the sheep. Bullying basically deals with some aspect of physical or emotional or social differences. And the power is based on those differences. In this case, our friend Scruffy the dog <laughs> wants to bully based on how large, in this case calling him fat, how large Sammy the Sheep is. That is bully. Simple as that. Also, if he stands here long enough and he starts saying, you're so stupid. You're so stupid. You're a stupid sheep. I hate stupid sheep. Stupid sheep are just stupid sheep. Name calling and teasing based on, again, physical or social or emotional and intellectual differences are also considered bullying. Now let's talk about harassment. Sam the Sheep is eating some grass. Sam the Sheep is eating some grass in the pasture. In the, in the, in the, in the pasture. Bah! Bah! When along comes again, Scruffy the dog. I don't like white sheep. I 
don't like white sheep. I don't like white sheep. I don't like white sheep because they're white. So harassment, the difference is between bullying is that harassment deals with some type of class. In this case, he doesn't like white sheep. It's based on race, color, in this case, white, sex, religion, national origin. The harassment or the aggression is based on some type of class. Race again, color, <laughs> white sheep, sex, gender orientation, national origin, religion, things of that nature. That is the major distinction. Now, a terrible dog <laughs> such as Scruffy can teeter-totter back between the two. It can be bullying in one moment and harassing in another moment. They both cause pain. They both cause discomfort. They both cause seemingly lifelong irritations in one's mind. But that is the distinction that you are dealing with when you call the principal if you're dealing with a child and, and you're dealing with a school bus or playground or whatever. Those are the distinctions that you can present to the principal or the authority that is in charge. You can say, my child is being harassed. They're being called names and, and bullied and hit and so on and so forth and being harassed based on their race, sex, gender orientation, so on and so forth. And certain laws govern how that is going to be dealt with. When it deals with harassment, federal laws kick in. Oh, federal laws are stiffer than regular laws, <laughs> state laws, and so on and so forth. Federal laws, you can go to court and win. You can sue the school and do a whole lot more, federally speaking, with harassment. So these are the distinctions. Our time is up. Come on back next time. We'll talk some more. We'll build deeper into the distinctions and the, and the different things that go on with bullying that will affect your, that could affect your child on the playground, at summer camp, or anywhere else where people decide they don't like them for whatever reason. <laughs> this has been another edition of Storytime with Mr. Puwa, August Moon. Come on back and see us. We're gonna talk some more. Arf, arf. Man, arf, arf. man. <laughs> Come on back and see us. We're gonna talk again. <laughs>